How's it going guys? Sam back with you with another painted 3D tutorial for you today. Today is going to be going over how to use your keyboard within your painted 3D programs and it's actually not as hard as you think so let's go ahead and get right into it. So firstly you need to create, let's create a method to bind our keys to. So we'll go ahead and make this method, we'll call it, uh, we'll do it with music, start music. And then, uh, so we'll do self.music is equal to self.loader.loadmodel load uh, music load music phase underscore three slash audio slash bgm slash tt underscore theme dot ogg and then um, when we want when we execute this we'll probably we'll play the music so we'll do self dot music dot play but if we if we call this method again we're probably going to want to stop it and then play again so let's do um, self dot music music dot stop so just in case that it is playing already the music goes already stops but if we were to run this right now and call this method it wouldn't work because self dot music is not defined so we need to go up here and call self dot music and we'll set that equal to none and then go back down here and we'll do if self dot music and then we'll put a colon and then put a tab right here We'll stop the music and then we'll play it again. So it'll play from the beginning. But, and then we'll put else right here. But if it's not already playing, then we need to load it up and then play it. So what this is saying right here is that if uh, self.music, the variable, has something other than none, then it will run this. If it is none, then it will go, it won't run this, it'll go to the else method. All right guys, now time for the keyword part. So uh, all you gotta do is uh, self.accept and we'll go ahead and make the letter A the key we're going to use and we'll do self dot start music because that's the function we want to run when um, we hit the A key so let's go ahead and run this alright so as you can see you got your gray screen up here but nothing's playing so go ahead and press the A key oops I am running the wrong file <laughs> let me go ahead and switch this up for you alright so now you have your program up and then nothing's playing because you haven't pressed the key yet. So once you go ahead and press A key, as you can hear, the music's playing. And so, actually we didn't test if it stopped or not, so go ahead and back into it. And press A, and then press A one more time. It stops it, and it, re and it restarts it. Now there's another way to do uh, keys. There's another way to do bind keys. So we'll go ahead and hash this out real quick. And we'll do self.accept once. And we'll make this uh, Q, and we'll do self dot start music, start music. And don't and if if you uh, if you put these parentheses or uh, if yeah, you put the parentheses right here, then um, it'll it'll try and run it as soon as you open the program. Uh, it's gonna tell you that there's an error because you can't call a method right there. So just leave those parentheses out. And so that it only runs this, run this, it only executes this command once you hit the Q key. And then basically it's self-explanatory, but the accept once key, accept once parameter, it um, you can only hit the key once, and after you hit it the one time, it will not uh, execute this method anymore. So go ahead and test this out. Run your program. Press key, press Q. As you can see, the music actually you can hear the music's playing. But if you try and press Q again, it won't stop or go. It just keeps, you can only accept it once. Now I'm gonna throw two things at you, two new things at you. So right now we're gonna do self dot, actually we're going to uh, hash, hash that out real quick. We'll do self dot accept. And then another way you can do keys is you can do, let's do the L key. You can call the key and then do hyphen up. And what this means is that uh, the command will not be executed until you lift up the key from pressing it. And we'll do self dot start music. That's the function we want to run, and then you can also throw uh, you can also throw parameters into this as well S by simply doing uh, let's put a number right there. Now as you can see, we don't have any parameters right here, so let's go ahead and make some. So we're just gonna put a parameter of int. So this one right here we passed into the int column, and let's do something with this. Um, so we'll do let's say if int is equal to one, and we'll do self dot music dot set play rate. We'll set that at a play rate of two, and we'll do else self dot music dot set play rate. We'll keep that at one. 
All right, so once you go ahead and run this, you can hear nothing once you open it, which is good. And then once you hit the L key, if you hit, if you just hit the L key, it plays like that. But if you were to say, let's say, hold down the L key and don't let go, nothing plays because you can the method's only called once you lift the L key up. And so once you lift the L key up, it's playing, and we pass the one into it. That's why the play rate's doubled. All right, so we're going to go hash this out one more time. And let's go ahead and call self.accept once. Uh, let's do B key, and then we'll do hyphen repeat. And this is kind of self-explanatory as well, but uh, I'll get into it here in a second. So we'll do self.start music, start music, and we'll pass a parameter of zero into it. So the play rate should run as one. B hyphen repeat. So basically, if you were to press B and lift it up like a normal key wouldn't do anything, if you were to press it rapidly, it would not do anything. If you were to hold down B though, it would do something. And the reason I'm using accept once with B repeat is that if you were to, well it's easier to show you, I'll show you. Let's do accept just by itself. Let's just do accept B repeat and run that for you. Nothing's playing, which is good. And now hold down B. As you can hear, there's a stuttering. And what this is is that the pro you're holding down B, and uh, every time you're holding down B, it tries to run the method. And once you finally let go of B, it plays it as normal. So when you're using repeats, if you use repeats, you want to do accept once, unless you know what you're doing and you want to want it to repeat like that. So if you do accept once and you hold down B. It won't, it won't do the cluster of sounds. It'll just play it once and it'll just go. And alright guys, that's the basics of uh, using your keyboard with a painted 3D programs. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys have any suggestions for future tutorials or future videos, leave that in the comments below. If you guys have any questions, leave that in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. If you guys like to keep up with all the videos that I post, all the tutorials that I post, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate the support that that gives me, and I appreciate that people actually like to see my videos. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, Sam is out.